it really ain't that serious. Enjoy the show. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Dodge. And it's DeVille. And it's time for some shenanigans. This is the club baker. All right, y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to your boys. Welcome back to the show. Hello. Hey, everybody. I hope y'all feel amazing. Look amazing. Inside, outside, you know. Downside, backside, all outside. that good shit. You know, oh, great, great week. Yeah. Great things is happening. Yeah. Great things on the horizon. Yeah. 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 But uh, y'all know what y'all here for. We're here for RuPaul's Drag Race Global All-Stars episode six. Six. You forgot to say season one. <laughs> season one, Global All-Stars. Like we don't know this is the first season. But I feel like, you know, they're all connected. So it's probably season 10. Technically, I mean, it is. I mean, it's just, yeah, yeah. Same formula, different cast in the way, different, not even a different cast. People we've seen before thrown together in the soup of drag race. That's it. Some people that just made it, you know, by default. No what? shade. <laughs> no, lie. Everybody deserve to be there. Get they do ladies. deserve to be there, but the ones that, you Get know, I'm sure the show wanted thing. weren't ready to come there yet, you know? I don't know what you mean. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure the producers from like the different franchises got together and like, okay, bitch, which ones y'all, you know, should we like send to real? Which ones? Which ones y'all think? And they probably like, well, bitch, only certain ones can speak English. This the only one that speak English. She can only speak. So, you know, it's only so many that they can choose from to even nominate to do it. You don't got to necessarily speak English. I think, okay, you know, oh just God. feel. Go in there and just do it anyway. Mm. If your looks are sickening enough. Because uh, if RuPaul telling you a joke and you don't laugh. You, are you fake? <laughs> <laughs> but what if it's one of those like. Does she want me to laugh? <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, one of those jokes that's like goes over your head. She just, that happens all the time. She just smile. How's and your head? Smile and nod. How's your head? It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, let's get off into this episode. Thank y'all for watching last week's episode. We know y'all struggling to watch Global All-Stars because it ain't been, you know, the T like all the other franchises. What's your name? The ratings been low. I seen them. Oh. Yeah. So especially for last episode, it had like two stars. What? Yeah. No. I swear. I don't know. I promise. I saw this with my own eyes from my I don't official follow the source. ratings, I just watch the source. shows, you know? I didn't either, but until somebody said it, you know, they really hated that last episode for some reason. But they rate them by each episode, I guess, mm -hmm. so... I think this episode may have been better, but we'll see. But anyway, so let's get off into it, y'all. So, starts off with the girls coming back into the workroom. They talking shit. There they There they they sad a little bit, cause you know, Eva LaQueen just went home. And they talking shit about it. Mm-hmm. Listen, I'm talking shit too, cause Eva, it wasn't time for Eva to go yet. In my opinion, she definitely had a bad episode. Um, it happened, everybody, acting has, shit, everybody but has a bad night, and hey, it was, it's a competition. It was a premature decision. She a had great decision. paint, great looks, but unfortunately, Eva, hey. I'll miss her. And but you know, Pythia, she just like, damn, that's another one of my bitches that's gone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she said she, all her friends is leaving one by one. Uh, Miranda was her girl. Now Pythia gone. So she's one like, by one. They they left the they left her hairy chest all by herself. I don't okay. know what she's gonna do. Speaking of hairy chest, y'all been seeing Pythia with these pictures of this hairy chest go across Twitter. That's how she trying to reel y'all in, okay? She was reeling the boys in. It's working. Okay, until they see her put that dress and wig back on, baby. They don't care they, they, drag, the they drag race fans. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they really want to see. Yeah, yeah, until they got to go somewhere with them out, outside of drag race territory. Like, you got to go to, like, a trip somewhere or something, you know. People That's how they do. We don't do that no more. A lot of these drag queens be talking about how these boys be wanting them, you know, in the in the... 
in the in the house, but indoors, but not outdoors. You know, you know what I'm saying. Nah, nowadays, I think they just do whatever. That's what some though if they do. I just would like to see it. But uh, I yeah, see it all the time. Okay, show me. <laughs> That's how we go out. I point it out. Cool. So then, <laughs> so then, so then after them, y'all talking about uh, you know that Godavar also was talking about how you know. You know, she's just happy she won. She's sad that she sent Eva home, but she just but glad. But she's glad so. she's still there. She yeah. ain't want to go home. She had to send that bitch packing. Because Eva had to fly 30 hours to get there, and she was not ready to go. She ain't fly 30 hours back, so because I'm sure, you know, she's going to come back and walk the, the final, like all the girls come back. So she around there somewhere. 30 hours back. <laughs> <laughs> and then come back again for the final. Oh, uh, hell no. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Unless World of Wonder is paying for that, then <laughs> maybe so. So anyway, so the next day, guys, um, they back into the workroom, and you know they're congratulating Queen Kong again on her win. Congratulations, Queen! You got another one under your belt, Queen. Like I'm, I'm doing it on these bitches. I'm the front runner. I'm just so happy to be. I made sixteen thousand k american so u.s so far. So I made that shit in a day. I'm feeling good. You know, she made that shit in a day, y'all. Uh, and then, you know, Vanity was talking about, you know, being in the bottom once again, y'all. I'm like, girl, you said something about this? Vanity feel like she's drifting away from the competition, slowly but surely. She don't see it for herself no more, but she do see it for herself. So now she got to claw her way back up to the top of Mount Olympus. I mean, she can get there because maybe Vanity serves looks. She do be serving looks. She that do. face be fucking painted. If you see Vanity in her uh, confessional and Vanity on the runway, Two different people. I don't know. They don't, transformation. Have they even met before? That's a transformation right there. That be the transformations I be wanting to see. Me like, too, see. I don't want to see like, you know, you and drag, but then when I see you as a boy, I can like see the I'm drag like, oh, okay. too. okay. Yeah. You know? Where is the transformation, you know? Plain Jane. Okay. I'm just playing. Plain Jane spaghetti. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Don't do plain. I fuck with plain. Okay. You know that. But plain gonna give you body though, every time. Every time. Every time. Shit, every time. <laughs> but, um... So yeah, Miss Vanny self-doubting herself, but she about to, she be, about to do it. She be all right. She about to give it to these girls in a minute. So anyways, RuPaul comes on a teleprompter giving him some riddle or some shit. What was it, a riddle? RuPaul said, riddle me this, riddle me that. Blackberry martinis and cognac. Ooh. And so the girls was like, okay, Singapore slings and whatnot. So they, the girls know, you know, something about to go down. So RuPaul Charles walking to the workroom. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. And then what? She told the girl we about to have a fucking cocktail <laughs> hour. Okay, a cocktail hour. Um, damn it, I'm just mad that we didn't do our cocktail hour. On an airplane. Today. Damn it, damn it. Listen, y'all, I also has been doing a cocktail hour for y'all. Y'all know how we do, you know, our little segment, Cock in Your Tail, but um, I didn't have my specific, you know, beverage that but I we'll, want to do with. But we'll have a song for y'all to but see. But we'll have a song for y'all to see, okay? Can't wait for y'all to see. I'm working on it. So, <laughs> so for the mini challenge, you know, the queen got to take an international flight. Okay. They were so fucking happy, too, thinking, like, they finna go to flight. You know, take flight for real. RuPaul's like, listen, baby, we pack y'all bags. We about to go on an international journey. But she said it's only going to be a 20-minute trip. <laughs> <laughs> so by three, the group, uh, the girls, they go into the uh, airplane set. Some pit crew come out, you know, and they're on the side of the set and they're simulating an aeroplane. And as the girls sit there, they got to put on their makeup and, you know, and whoever got the best face win, wins. Win, wins. But you know what? I really enjoyed this challenge. Like, I hadn't seen nothing like this. I'm like, this is something different. This is creative. something fun. This is it creative. Fun. I'm like, it yes. Campy. Yes. Put your makeup. Like, yes. That's fun. Like, bitch, yes. You know? The, the picture fun was shit. trying to move the thing, and Queen Kong, she ain't moved. She was just in a. Okay, the, the, the I would be like, Queen Kong, bitch, get your big ass on the end. Because <laughs> if you in the middle, she gonna crush both of them every time. I'm like, she ain't uh -uh. moved. So she ain't crush Oh, no, she was moving now. Okay. I Move. But you know, they was painting and stuff. Um, I mean, you it's typical, it's how it would typically look when you move and putting your makeup on. Yeah, it was funny. Um, but the winner overall was uh, 
Tessa Thompson. <laughs> I Tessa Tessicles. Tessa Tessa Balls. I felt Tessa like Tessicles. Tessa Scrotum. I guess RuPaul was going for the funniest face. I thought she was going for the most glamorous face. I did too. I would have easily gave it to Vanity. Dodge would have gave it to Alyssa, of course, because baby, that face was painted. She had no makeup on her face. She did. Face. Alyssa, do you know what Alyssa's face looked like without makeup? She, she had no makeup on her face. It was just that face. sickly that you thought that, that it wasn't. put on a fucking lip gloss. Lies. She had eyes. She had a whole. A whole uh, mask on, okay? The Pithia baby, she shit was painted. Through. Pythia had lipstick and shit on her fucking teeth. Yeah, <laughs> like, but I think, you know, she's a campy girl, so that's what she went for. That's that's Pythia T right there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Doing some goofy shit. So Tessa won, she won uh, 2500 Dow here. Is that how much she won? That's how much she won. Oh my goodness. So uh, after that, RuPaul announced a maxi challenge. She maxi. told the queens to pair up with a girl that you would like to go out and have a cocktail with. So the queens scramble amongst themselves. And they- Only did. one was left, baby. Only one was left. And you already know who the fuck that one was. Who was it? Melania! They don't fuck with her. Why is y'all doing my bitch like that? Like why? Her drag is sickening. Like I don't get it. I think that's what it is. They don't fuck with her. She cried. I guess she cried too much. She cried on her season though. Y'all watched her season. She cried on that motherfucker. That's the thing they didn't watch, so they don't know Nelania. Well, that's her. You know, let's listen. Nelania gives y'all sickening drag, okay? I mean, she's a little special, so you just need to accept her for who she is, because she gives you you sickening drag. There's some shit that we ain't seeing uh, through the edit that's going on because they hate this bitch. You hear me? Okay, they like her guts. So to nobody pick Lenanya. Uh, <laughs> who? Well, first off, who's the who's our group here? So uh, um, so and Vanity paired up together. Alyssa and Tessa paired up together. Now Alyssa and Tessa when they paired up together, you know, Queen Kong wanted to go with Alyssa originally. And Alyssa kind of wanted to go with Queen Kong, but she didn't want to sing like a one trick pony, so she went with right. her daughter instead. Right, so she went with Tessa. Queen Kong went with Gala. And then the Queen is furious. Okay. <laughs> I don't re- think she mad. But then mad, she realized but... she wanted to fuck Gala. So then she's like, ah, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Gala's a little cute, he's a big nose. And then, uh, so Pythia and Kitty. So then, uh, so, so right, Pythia and Kitty. So Nanae got to pick who she wanted to be with, and then she went to them and she said, "Of course, I want to be with Pythia and Kitty." And, and Kitty was pissed the fuck off. Yes, she <laughs> I didn't even know she get mad for real. But Kitty so, was mad. She okay. was like this crying fucking bitch. <laughs> the fuck? <Arr." laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So um so then after they picked their you know their teens and L- Lenny and all of that she came to Lenny <laughs> and all of that RuPaul calls the pit crew out so the pit crew comes out with all these luggage and suitcases and shit and they scantily clad and dressed yeah um everybody they all got their names on it so RuPaul's like all right go and get your suitcases go and get them so everybody looking at this suitcase like yes it's yes and RuPaul's like oh there's a twist switch with your partner. So you got to what? So I guess the material that you brought from home, your expensive materials, whatever, you know, you got to give it to this person to work with. Mm-hmm. And Alyssa said, "Bitch, uh, uh-uh. uh." What? She did. She's mad. She's mad. Cause she probably knew, like this little bitch right here, ain't got shit that I want to wear. When Alyssa, is, you know, when Alyssa hand over is. her suitcase, well, shit, I'd have handed her the first place. But this uh, suitcase, clearly, this she, suitcase. She said, I had, uh, she just won the lottery. Oh, oh, right, okay. She like, <laughs> she just won the lottery with my suitcase. <laughs> okay. So, you know, at the, um, RuPaul Lee, the girls pop that shit open. Yeah. They start scavenging the material, the shit, yeah. seeing what's going on. Tessa put out some good, fine ostrich feathers. Yeah, you know. baby, she was living and, and for And y'all know, uh, drag queens love a good feather, an ostrich feather. She's like, ah, oh, darling, darling, I feel rich, darling, famous, darling. So then Alyssa <laughs> pop open her thing and she just see blue, colorful neon rags and whatnot. So it looked a little, you know, It looked a child. cheesy. It ain't look Alyssa. Yeah. Alyssa, they were like, what the fuck? Yeah, it looked a little cheesy, but you know, Alyssa, she just said she's gonna try to do what she can with this little material. So, yeah, so, so and Vanity, they exchange gifts and they said, you know, I'm gonna work with it. 
You know, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Vandy said, bitch, I, I won all these sewing contests back in my country and here in this country, I won sewing contests and I had this sickening ass looking. I'm about to be She was quite one pleased again. with the material she, she had. Was pleased with the she material and she taught a good game. Yeah. Y'all. Um, so, and then so like she so likes Vanity too, so they was both happy with you both know, happy. with the exchange. Um, Queen Kong and Galavaro, um, you know, Queen was just like, I mean, this bitch don't be really wearing no clothes and shit, so I'm kind of scared to open this up. But she was pretty, um, you know, she found happy some shit with she it. could work with. Yeah, she yeah. And Gala, she was just like, damn, like this ain't my normal shit, but you know, I'm gonna try to do what I can. Queen with this said thing. she had to trade a new sketch. And Gala said, you know, black, gold, I do what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Some shit, hell. Some shit. <laughs> so then, of course, last but not least, Nelania, Kitty, and um, what's the little girl name? Pythia. So Nelia had got Kitty's luggage and she was not pleased. Okay, she like, cause I know I'm, it's gonna be some pink in here. Then she she like, it's gonna be, gonna be maybe some pink in here. Lavender. You know. White. More, more pink. You know, something basic pink. <laughs> she, kept, she kept going it's all in. All pink. That's Kitty's favorite color. She loved pink. So when she opened it up, she said, Like her? Lycra. Lycra. It's too hard to use. Lycra. Cancel. Lycra. Let me see what kind of, what that material is. So she was, she was pissed about this fucking Lycra. And, she was. And Kitty, you know, she was happy to have something. So she wasn't mad at all, you know. Kitty was gagged with the shit she had. I mean, you know. Well, before that, you know, Kitty was pissed that, you know, she was like, bitch, I, you know how much money I spent on this shit, bitch? I spent a grand on this on shit. On this like, Lycra. Bitch. Like, she's trying yeah. to, she's like, bitch, you, you know, you acting crazy like my shit cheap, but I spent, you know, da 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 But, Nanelia. Oh, she ain't lying. Look how thick this shit look. I would've been pissed too. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> she wasn't happy. I had to show him some like her, y'all. <laughs> she wasn't happy with the selection, so. This like some tablecloth type shit, okay? She started talking shit and she started breaking down. She started fucking crying, y'all. Like. I would've cried too, having to sell some fucking tablecloth. Like crying. <laughs> and the girls, and when she started crying, the girls just start kind of going in on her, right? Yeah. You know, Pitty, she, when Pitty opened hers, you know, Pitty like, bitch, it's whatever. Like, bitch, I can get any one of y'all and still turn this shit out. So it's, it's whatever for me, you know? Pitty, you know, she's very talented with a needle and third, so she don't give no fucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they're making their little outfits and shit and whatever. And then RuPaul decides to come in and check on the girls. So she want to see, you know, sketches and whatnot. And then, how the team is getting along, or how the girls are getting along. Yeah. Being messy, trying to start some shit up. That way she can send them back pissed off. Which RuPaul did. She came <laughs> up there like a tornado, stirred up some mess, went to Nahalia and said, Ooh, girl, you got some good fabric right here. Okay, okay. I'm like, I'll be you... happy to have this fabric right, right, right here. <laughs> and she, uh, um, and Kitty, like, right, right. And this bitch had the nerve to be crying. She said, I was fucking offended. She's like, This fucking cunt. <laughs> you know what she, uh, she called her a, ch a cheeky something. A cheeky, a, ch a oh, cheeky cow. Okay. Excuse me, not the cunt c word. I'm sorry, cow. A cheeky cow. A cheeky okay. cow. <laughs> See you, bloody cheeky cow. <laughs> but um. Pity, uh, Kitty, you can genuinely see like she was upset. You don't really see because she's a, always happy and smiling and joking, but you can genuinely see in her eyes like she was pissed the fuck off that the hell he wasn't appreciating, you know, that the, shit. The whole room was mad at her. <laughs> and then, uh, Pinty outfit. RuPaul's like, bitch, this is done already. Like, right, RuPaul's like, this is done. How you gonna drag up this gorgeous outfit in front of these girls and let them know what a finished, <laughs> exquisite product looks like? Pretty much, pretty much. And, and it was. In 30 minutes. Yeah. Pinty told RuPaul she had to add a couple more finishing touches to a little more accessories I here and there. I still need to sew it together. I just pinned it up. It's just pinned right now. But yeah, it was dope. Whatever she had done, shit was dope. Yeah. She had more than a sketch. She had a fucking dress. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, so then after that, you know what I'm saying, the girls start to do their makeup and shit, you know, boop, 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 getting ready for the runway or whatever. And um, 
you know, as they're doing their makeup, you know, Queen Kong is assisting her sister, her black sister, okay? She's like, girl, let me help you, you know what I'm saying? Let me I'm help Michelle you with this reading makeup. your ass, bitch. And so, um, you know, I am an expert in this, so let me just go ahead and give you some pointers. She's like, you need to do this for more depth and da 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 she uh, was. I mean, she was selling her right, though, because, I mean, all she do is the dark lip. Like, I hate when black girls always stick to that dark lip. Like, no. Like, you know, experiment with color, because a lot of black girls, because my sister used to do this, too, like, wearing that dark-ass lipstick because they think it blends in with their skin. They be like, my lips ain't pink, my lips brown. Like, bitch, yes, they are, but still, like, that's not the point. Like, bitch, come on now, you know. Come on now. Glam it up, girl. Just a little bit. Okay. So while this is taking place, Vanity, she in the corner, she shook. Cause she don't know what to do with her outfit. She done changed it four times. Okay. And, and then the- I like the design that she showed RuPaul. So she showed RuPaul a sickening design. But she scrapped that and she started doing some other crazy shit for some reason. And then the material she had, she done cut it up so bad. She don't got no material left to make a fucking dress. So now she just gotta take paper pieces and pieces yeah. together and, and spray painting and spray painting and just a blowing hard, shit now just a hard boob job she got to do real quick Pretty just much. a hard a hard job yeah 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 so um you know so after that i think the girls are ready for it's time to run the way run the way run the way it's time for the runway y'all rupaul she coming out so rupaul is coming out in an old nasty you know what I'm saying? it's a nice flowy flow. dress it's, you know it's, it's strappy at the, the top and it's flowy at the, the bottom the wind is catching it nice and it's breezy easy breezy beautiful couple girl it's yeah. like it like licorice candy she just looking it reminds me of the last dress she did with the like the straps on it it's like yeah, yeah the material of it I love, I love yeah. it. Top really though. Top though. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Um, so the category of the runway is It's, it's five, 5 o'clock somewhere. somewhere. So we gotta Cheers. see their best uh their best cocktail dresses. And RuPaul had a strict rule. That shit cannot go below the fucking knee. Okay. Below the fucking knee. I want y'all to be hoes. Cocktail dress. Here we go. First up coming out is Alyssa Edwards from the United States of America. I think I'm gonna have to chop this look. I think I'm gonna have to top this look. Given what she was work with, what she had to work with, what I saw in that box, this is an exquisite piece. She's like a fucking Amazon from fucking Tamasco. Look at RuPaul. RuPaul ain't feeling it. RuPaul is living her fantasy on this Look at it. She like, this is amazing. It's a chop. I hate the wig. I, I love the wig. The dress looks, you know, costume. So yeah. It's a top. Okay. Thank you. I know I am. Baby, I Next up, <laughs> we have Tessa T. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Work it. Work it. Give it to us. Show us. Show us. Come on. Give us a show. Tessa T. Yes. Look fucking amazing. Yes. Come on, Tessa. Stunning right now. Stunning. Ow. She giving me leg, body. She giving me arm, <laughs> fur, ostrich feathers. Okay. Bitch, you should have some red bottoms on, but it's fine. You know what I'm saying? She but looks, you look sickening. She do. Okay, it's top a, all day, all day. Come on, so come on, so next up, so yes. Look at yeah. that mug. That bitch is giving you mug. Thank you, Queen. Come on, Liz. Thank you, Queen. But yeah, so coming out, you know, give you nasty Aphrodite tees. Okay, looking like um. Nefer TT or whatever. I like it. I like the hair. I like. I like it. It's sickening. The outfit is flowing. You know. I like the outfit. She could have gave me cleavage, but top. Soft top. Next up, Vanity Vane from Sweden. <sighs> it's not giving me the category. Like you, what cocktail hour are you wearing this to? I, I, I like I Adam like, and Eve. Them going cocktail hour. I like her face. This is like an Adam and Eve cocktail hour, I love right? her makeup. It's, it's, it's sickening, yeah, but the outfit. Come on now. And I love Vanity, but. Chop. Yeah, it's a chop, sis. She couldn't explain it either. Like, I, what are you doing? Next up, Queen Kong. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Queen. Come on, Queen. Okay. I like the shoulders up here. You know, a bitch with big shoulders love to add more shoulders on top of the shoulders they got, okay? But she looks sickly. I love the hair. I love the hair choice because the wings would have got in the way of that. So that looks nice. I like it. 
Okay. You know, it could have been, you know, finished a little bit at the top a little bit more, but I'll get the concept and it's sickening. Top. It's a top. That's a woman. <laughs> Next up, Galavaro. This bitch looks just like who? Sophia Loren. Uh -uh, like Lady Gaga. <laughs> what did she do? But um, you know, the look is sickening. Um, I, you know, I wish we definitely seen the neck because you hide. You know how RuPaul feel about you hiding your neck now. Tyra Banks don't like that. Show your neck. But the outfit is cute. If it was like on a bag. tall girl. It's cute. It's very, you know, vintage. Soft top. Yeah, it's a soft top. Next up, Kitty Scott Claus. This is cute. Come on, Kitty. I mean, you know, it's first off, it's too fucking long. long. Bitch, and you wear tiny ass skirts every episode, and you want to get to this episode and have a side, but I mean, it's slit at the side. It's past the knee. Chai. <laughs> Uh, how the design look? Uh, uh, dress up. If it wasn't she, cocktail, she was giving. Specific. If it wasn't cocktail, how does the dress look? It's all right, chop. He just be wanting a reason. <laughs> he know this is <laughs> top, bitch. Y'all be hating it all the time and kitty, but bitch, top. Kitty eat every runway, okay? Top, bitch. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Next up, <laughs> Melania. I mean, this cute, you know, like she going to, um, I actually like this, but she is reading it so hard that she's walking down the runway, like, if you, you know, they voice over, she's like, I'm wearing a piece of shit dress, I hate it, I just made something, I sold some shit together, but here I am. It's like she's going to, like, dress. the coronation or something, you know, Queen Elizabeth and them. And I like it, it. You it know, is. it's sickening, like, it's, yeah. It is. It's a top for Okay. Me. Work for Thea. Next up for Thea. This is very nice. And Her it's face. Face. <laughs> RuPaul, I love it. And it's, and it's so short, nice and short. Now RuPaul's making that face because of the accessories. <laughs> she ain't want to, uh, she just wanted the dress, that was it. Yeah, RuPaul ain't like these accessories on here, y'all. But look at this, I like this. Like, the whole thing is sickening. Like, it's cocktail hour, bitch. Like, what? Okay, Beyonce definitely would have wore these gloves. I, so I like it's it. It's a top it's, all day. Yeah, and her face is painted down. Down to the point it looked like it's fake. Like her mug looked fake, yeah, don't man. it? Like a something, I don't know. But yeah, that was the runway. Who was your favorite design? Patia. Patia? Why? I like it. Oh. <laughs> Not um Tessa's. I like her too. Okay. It was something about Queen Kong you ain't like, you just ain't saying it. What you ain't like about it? What? What you ain't like about it? Tell it to the people. Cause I like it's this something. Place. Uh uh, cause any other time. Every episode you gagging about Queen Kong. She can't do no wrong. All of this all of a sudden this nice. episode, his ass is on. Everybody on mute. <laughs> it was nice. It was nice. Oh, okay. It was nice. <laughs> Watch when we cut this camera off, yeah. <laughs> it was nice. But I really enjoyed Pythia's outfit, and I really fuck with Tessa. Yeah. They, they ate. So, um, the tops of this week goes to... <laughs> it was out of, um, Alyssa, uh, no, what's this girl? Pythia, Tessa, and, um, who else she say? It was the third one. Alyssa. Who? Alyssa. Queen Kong. Oh. Yeah. But she said only one can be the winner. And the winner is... Tessa, baby. Tessa. Listen, they just wanted to give it to Tessa just because they know Pithy ate it. But they're just like, let's just mix them. No, Tessa that. did a great job. She did an okay job, but Pithy is like... The look like, was stunning. It Tessa. was, but you know. Especially the arm, it was very bold. Very, very fashion forward. Mm -hmm. Tessa did that. And the way she was shaking it out, like she sold the look. She mm -hmm. did great. Okay. Tessa did that shit. And she finally showed us a, She said she was a design major. We finally got to see it because that last fucking design was trash. <laughs> it was, pretty much. But this is a redemption yeah. for her. So. Um, and the bottom queens were... Okay. <laughs> Galavada and, and Sword the Muse. You agree? I feel like Kitty could have been 
Boy, please. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. Kenny had RuPaul cracking up this whole episode. Oh, okay, yeah, RuPaul yeah, was fucking screaming, especially with the margarita pizza. Okay. No, that was Lynn. No, she was saying it oh, fuck, yeah, man, yeah, because she's yeah. asking Elania to come out and punch her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kenny said margarita pizza, and RuPaul was telling her to say it. Yeah. And she was just fucking screaming, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but around. Uh, yeah, let's get off into the lip sync. Where are they performing to? They are performing to um some old shit. It's like this better be some new shit. The new be new my shit. Lover, wanna be my. This is oh, this is Miley, Jesse J, Nicki Minaj with Bang Bang Bang. I feel like they're always performing to this, don't they? I feel like it too. It's cheap, that's why I mean, easy to get that. Hey, hey. I mean, Gala look amazing. She do. The outfit is fantastic. Come on, so okay, she fighting now. She fighting. I hate the wig she got. I hate the wig and the fitting. The no titties and the I just hate the whole look. She gave me a um Banshee. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm, I'm glad she's having a great time. She, she is. And my baby giving her all. Look at Gala. Yeah. Was that? She almost fell. Was that? So that's the same it shit was, I said. Okay. Yeah. That, that was, was a hard. Exactly. I almost popped that fucking kneecap. <laughs> Come on, so killing it. She is. She performing, okay? Too bad she don't know the words. <laughs> she don't? You like it to me. That's what Jockey told me. He said right there. I'm looking at her mouth. Hey. They knew not to do, um, they knew not to uh, run uh, into each other right there. Uh, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean, I see what you mean. <laughs> They better not do this rapping. Okay, I'm so glad they skipped it. Is it a rapping? Yeah, Nicki Minaj. Oh. Oh, she did a, she did a, okay. she did a flip on a car wheel. That one landed. Mama, not so bad. No. Oh, okay. Um. Overall, I would definitely say that, you know, Soa had the better energy for me. Like, she was, like, having a good time. You saw it in her. Gala had more tricks, but Soa didn't really know the words. Gala's doing the words more, so I would probably give it to still Soa. Soa had good <laughs> energy, but I will give it to Gala. Mm, okay. Definitely. So the winner is... Gala... Yes. So it's gotta sit to stay. I mean, you know, so was on her way out anyway. I told y'all. Gotta already. gotta stay, and so she got a Shante. But uh, so you got a Shante, you go. You did a great job. So thank you, you go. <laughs> thank you for sharing your talent with us, and yeah, she got to fly 30 hours back to. France. No, she from Italy. She from France, Paris. Or <laughs> this is global all stars now. Listen, like they already say Americans think that that's the whole world. <laughs> I mean, you Americans think y'all the whole world, okay? <laughs> she ain't from Paris, France. Think she, she, she is. <laughs> is she? Yes. Oh. I thought she, oh, that's Nelania. Yeah. Oh, that's Nelania. My bad. But anyways, um. This was a good episode, actually. I gagged through the whole entire episode. Like, it was funny. Kitty had, had me laughing the whole episode. Kitty, carried this, Kitty be carrying these episodes, y'all. Like, if it wasn't for Kitty, it, we wouldn't have no no funny moments. We wouldn't. We Tesla, she very funny. We would most definitely have fun. It's one of those, tr you know, contrived, you know, I want to be funny type of funny versus Kitty's just natural. Hey. But you know that's how them London queens are. All of them, all of them be funny. Remind me never to go there. 
You love it. You've been down to go. We going to drag race. No, we not. I mean, we going to, um, what's it called? Drag. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, we know. So next week, y'all, we get the Javier's next week, okay? The Javier's gonna be on there if y'all watch España. España, the you Supreme, know. the Cabo. Then the Cabo, okay, the Javier's, the Javier's yeah. on there. So, um, yeah, so. And the lockings and all that. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I wish you come on one week. This is our first time get this to hear them talking English. Oh my god, I'm it's excited. It's a crossover special. I'm excited. <laughs> oh my god. Because I always wanted to talk in English just to see how they would sound, so now we get to see it. We'll see when we go there. Yeah. But anyways, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the show. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you share this video with your mama, your daddy, and your ball headed granny. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Same time, same place, all right? Remember to like, comment, comment. And subscribe. Deuces. Thank y'all so much.